Hello and welcome to episode 6 of In the Hot Seat, a football match experiment series on Boss United FM. In this video we bring one of football's most controversial characters back to Boston United. Former Leeds United, Rotherham United and current Gillingham manager Steve Evans returns to manage the Pilgrims. He's managed the club twice in real life, from 1998 to 2002, when he oversaw two promotions and entry into the Football League, and then whilst in League Two, between 2004 and 2007, resigning once United had been relegated back to non-league. Boston's promotion into the Football League was overshadowed by the club being found guilty of contract irregularities, mainly instigated by Steve Evans. How will he perform back down in Tier 6 of English football at York Street? OK, we've gone forward to May 2025. Let's have a quick look around Boston. So, OK, so Steve Evans is no longer the manager. It's Neil Baker with Toto Enciala as the vice captain. So he's dropped down a little bit, the former Ipswich and Grimsby player. Let's just have a look and see what's happened with the managers. So Steve Evans took over 1st of July 2019 as he was put back into the game and was then moved on, or he's gone somewhere else, in June 2021. So he's actually lasted two seasons. Let's click on him and see where he is. So he's actually at file now. So if we have a look at his milestones whilst at Boston, um, let's just go for competitions if we scroll back through. So... OK, got into the playoffs in that first season. That's a pretty good effort. That's pretty much what the board expect. And then got through into the final, but then lost to Kidderminster. What about the second season? Playoffs again, but then lost to York in the first round of the playoffs. And it's that point when he's left. So presumably his contract has ended there and he's then moved on because it's taken him a little while to pick up a new job like six months it took him to move on to filed so where are filed now so he's still there if we have a look so he stayed in non-league okay he's got a one division bump up but okay he's done all right and then he's actually won the national league with filed in 2024 so and then they've got into the playoffs in League Two in their first season in the Football League. So are they still going on? So there's the playoff semi-finals. It does look like maybe they get to play. So we might just have to skip forward and see how they get on. Well, there we have it. Fylde have actually won promotion again beating Grimsby in the final. So Steve Evans has got himself back into League One and it only took him until 2025. Right, let's go back to Boston and then just have a look through for 1920. So this was his first season. There's the playoffs there, then losing to Kidderminster in the final by a goal to nil against 10 men. So that's very disappointing. And then Evans' his second season, losing on penalties away at York. Again, against 10 men that don't seem to be able to get that advantage and score the goals. Let's just have a look at the history in terms of domestic leagues. So they've just basically been kept in Conference North, but it does look like this season just now, Ah, hold on, that was a year ago. They've won promotion by winning the league. Just six losses in the 46 games. So after the two sixth places under Evans, they then finished six again, and then fourth, and then first. So finally getting promotion. After four consecutive playoff losses, they finally win the league. And then if we check this season... A solid mid-table position, 17 wins and 17 losses, scoring 60, conceding 60. Very much mid-table. If we go back to those managers, so Neil Baker is the one who took over from Dave Challoner, who was hired two weeks after Evans left, but he lasted almost two years. But then it was Neil Baker that took over. 
and in his first season won the league. There's his Panorama National League North Champions promotion. We'll just have a look at the transfer history under Evans just to see what's been going on there. So he signed a couple of players in that first season, let George Green go on a free transfer. Hasn't spent any money in that second season either. Plenty of players on free transfers and a lot of loans. And then three players leaving. So Fanodge went to Chorley. Alex Whittle to Hartlepool. Spent seven grand in that third season, but this will be under Chaloner. So 23-24, this was the one, I believe, where they got the promotion. So again, not spending any money. But did sell Elliot Haynes to Coventry. He's a 21-year-old who starts at Ton Pentra, which is a Welsh team. Brought in on a free transfer. Had two seasons in Vanarama North. And then went to the Championship, where he then played 42 games and has since moved on to Preston for 1.2 million. And then in this final season, they've let nobody go. Again, signed players for nothing or on loan. And have got their 11th place in the Vanarama National. So overall, Boss United have advanced one league above. But Steve Evans has managed to find himself ready for League One football via the playoffs with Fylde. If you've enjoyed the content of this video, please don't forget to leave a like. And for more videos, please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.